Well, we all know fall isn't just about pumpkins. It's also apple picking season. So today we're taking all things apple when it comes to kid friendly meals. Johanna Mipuri, also known as Mama Cuisine, is over in our Studio 41 kitchen to break down some of her favorite apple recipes. Yes, I'm more of the apple girl, Me not too. the pumpkin I'm girl. I'm not a pumpkin girl either. So Pumpkin's this is good, but it's all about apple yes. right now. So we have three really great recipes that we're going to play with. Now, okay. who doesn't love apple donuts? Oh. They're everywhere. I got them like, from Kuiper's oh Family Farm. Amazing. They do this fresh at their farm. Take the apples, make it into donuts, but why not make it into bread pudding? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Why not? So I'm going to show you how. So I have here their apple donuts. You just really, this is fun with the kids too. Get them very involved. They so like to get messy. Gonna, yes, <laughs> get them messy. And we're just gonna, with your hands, take the donuts and just put them, them in into quarters. Pieces. Yeah. Yes. Put them into pieces, break them apart. You don't want it too small because you do want it to, you know, really see the chunks of donuts. Yeah. Okay. So we I never have thought of there. doing that with donuts because yeah. I would have thought it would have broke up and broke apart. No. So it, you see it here with the powdered sugar. It looks so, so good. So then we're gonna add some pecans. You could do whatever you want. You could do walnuts or just take them out completely. We're going to add that. And of course, fresh apples from Kuiper's Family Farm here. These are Ida Reds. So you just want fresh apples there also. Do you, does it matter which kind of apple you use? Like, do you prefer that style over like Granny Smith or Braver? Yeah, Granny or? Smith would be good too. That contrast of sweet, yes, right? Sour, and yeah. then a little bit sour. I like this. It's great for baking and okay. cooking. Mm -hmm. So then now like we're the going to have some. Yeah, it's so, yeah, it's so good. Now, where did my whisk go? Okay, here it is. So we have some eggs, heavy cream. Put that there. Oh, it eggs into that. Okay. okay. Yes, right. So we're gonna make the custard with the with that bread pudding, a little bit of vanilla. Mm -hmm. So oh, let's lower this a little bit. Put the thing. Vanilla and sugar. Oh, like this. I think my hands are too slippery. There it goes. So a little oh, bit of vanilla. Oh, you use the cap. That's cool. Yes, That's use the cap to measure. Uh -huh. Yeah. One teaspoon, some sugar, and cinnamon. Okay. We're gonna whisk it up. Right, whisk that up really good. And that creates the custard. So very rich. Yes. Do you have to get it really thick? Like you're not trying to peek the eggs or anything, right? No, no. Okay. You just want to incorporate it. So okay. it makes this custardy, very rich, very thick. And we're gonna put pour it on here, put it in the oven, cover it. I did mine at 375 for like 40 minutes, check it out, and then uncover it so that it's nice and gets crusty on the edges. Mm -hmm. Uncover it and then top with your powdered sugar. Awesome. Okay. Get That's some ice great. cream. Get some ice cream enough. for that. Yeah. Next one, I did an apple cider pork loin. Oh, <gasps> That's what so I want to know. So good, right? Keep it juicy. We're talking about this, Tonya, yes. earlier. Yeah. Keep mm -hmm. it juicy. So you have here, let me just lower this heat a little bit here. So we want to sear the pork loin. Right, as we know, it's very lean. We want to keep it juicy. Right. I already have carrots and onions chopped up. We're going to put this pork loin here. Have you seasoned it? Oh, we just want to sear it first. Sear it. Right? right? We just want to sear it. So a little bit of salt, pepper. Right? I like to add, where's my paprika? Is it here for some color? So you could add some paprika to add some color to it, but you want to sear it so that you have that brown crust. Mm -hmm. That holds it juices, yes, yes. right? So you want it at very high heat, right? And you just want to keep it so that it's nice and brown. Okay. And then what you do, okay, let's see this, you'll see. See how it's already very quickly here, yeah. already turning brown, right? So you just want to season both sides, do that. And then what you want to do now is cut up some apples. So we're going to move over here. So while that's searing, what we're going to do is take your apples. And you want this chunky. You don't want to cut them too small, right? Because they get soft when we're roasting. OK. okay. Right? So again, the theme is apples. I like to keep it really chunky. And you're adding it to what? We're adding it to the carrots. OK. We're adding it to the carrots and the onions. And you could do potatoes. Yeah, you can do whatever yeah. you want. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You could do potatoes. Like the kids that. might actually eat the vegetables because you can hide the vegetables under the apples. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we always got to trick the kids yeah, right? somehow. Every somehow. time. And then we're taking our Kuiper's Family Farm cider. Okay. So we're gonna put a little bit on the base there, because again, the pork loin is a very lean meat. So we want to make sure that it gets. 
stays moist, mm. right? Really, really moist. Now we're gonna take this, put this closer here. So remember, you just wanted to brown that, add that on top, cover it with foil. Again, 375, 400. Mm -hmm. And then and, and cover it, just make sure that it's nice um, and cooked all the way through. And in the end, this is what you have here. That's a great idea. Oh, so it's like really that. nice, super festive looking. Even I could do that. Right? It's really, really good. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. very easy, it's easy and it looks very elegant. Yeah. So that's the whole thing about like holiday, time, holiday style recipes. Right. Mm -hmm. right. You want it to look festive, delicious, elegant, but casual. Okay. Right? Last thing, of course, cocktails. It's Friday. Oh, oh yeah. Cocktail time. Hello. Right? So let's put this out the way here. So what we're going to do. It takes some ginger beer, and then we also have hard cider. Oh. Okay. We have enough for the crew, so don't worry, guys. We have enough for everybody. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so you, you have, they have different flavors. This is the spiced one, and there's a cinnamon apple. Which one do you want to try? Spiced. Spiced. So let's do spice. Okay. So we're going to open the spice. Just put a little of the cider there. Let's add a little ginger beer. Yeah, this is the adult cocktail. We this don't is, do yeah. this to the kids. No. This is what we drink while they're helping us cook. Yes, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> and it looks pretty already just like that, but I'm a whiskey girl. Oh. And I have this special one from a gentleman, Jack, they sent me. The special bottle from Mama Cuisine, so this is again, nice. Again, using the cap here. Take yeah. the cap again and just... Or a little bit there, super festive, very, Voila. very pretty. Very easy, pretty. you know, when we want to do, uh, you know, it's a time to be festive. Yeah. It's super easy to do this. I love that. Piper's Family Farm has everything. Grab a couple stuff from your pantry and refrigerator. Wonderful. And then you added a little cheers. lime to it? Yeah, yeah. a little lime, or you could do an apple, cinnamon stick. Something to make it dress it up a little. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Cheers. Cheers, Mama Cuisine. <laughs> Cheers. All right, thank you. All right, coming up after the break. Botox 101. We're breaking down the stigma around cosmetic procedures.